Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the No Easy Way Out podcast. Uh, we are coming to you, as always, from the Armory here in downtown Owasso. This is the quarantine edition of our podcast. And I'm joined today by someone that's been a friend of mine for a long time. And uh, that is Matt Jabs, the owner of DIY Natural. Matt, thanks for being on the show today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, Matt, tell our audience just, uh, I know who you are, mm -hmm. but they don't. Mm -hmm. Now, there's at least three people watching this right now. So let's tell those three people and maybe the other that might be who you are and, and tell us what you do. My name is Matt Jabs, and since 2009, I have run DIYNatural.com full-time, and it is a revenue-generating website that teaches people how to uh, garden, uh, live healthier, eat healthier, make their own natural um, cleaners make their own natural beauty products and I have run that with my wife successfully <laughs> since 2010 so you've been her. working at home for a while since 2010 wow yeah. so wow. this is easy stuff Nothing new to you no you're doing it yourself the natural naturally way. yeah <laughs> yes I am <laughs> so Thanks how would asking. you how would you best describe your industry then what industry would you categorize that in just a uh, web entrepreneurship e-commerce web okay yeah. okay yeah. okay so <clears throat> and then also Titus Properties is my real estate investing company that I started in 2008 to grow my real estate investing portfolio. Oh, very nice. So, Surnamed by still, your firstborn son. Yes. Yeah, and it's still cool. pretty small, but I'm working on it. But you're looking so, for looking for stuff. Looking so for properties. Get a hold of yeah. Matt Jabs, Titus Properties. Yeah. Okay, so obviously your business since you work at home was probably not deemed unessential. You could still do what you were doing. And probably during this time, a lot of the products you offer were very helpful to people. Yes. Have you seen a rise in sales, a decrease in sales? What, what kind of you experienced? We actually saw a 100 to 400% increase in traffic wow. and revenue Wow! because our revenue is directly tied to our traffic. Yeah. So whenever there's hard times, people want to go back to simple, simpler things and knowing how to do things themselves, a lot of gardening type stuff. But we were actually number one, two, and three. It fluctuates on Google for homemade hand sanitizer wow during this time so, so, you, so you, yeah now are you guys that making that and fulfilling it or you're just you're just providing the way that people can do it themselves so we are strictly information based okay and we just i wanted to be completely information based so that we didn't have any products we didn't have any inventory i didn't have any manufacturing and that was all set up on purpose because i wanted to be able to have a lot of time freedom when i created this business yeah and it is continued it has continued to be that way i certainly could develop a product line um, but I still have had no desire to. I always tell yeah. people who do it, people always ask me, can I, can I take these recipes and, and go create the products and sell them at my farm market? I'm like, absolutely. Yeah. That, would, that would be great. Yeah. You know, so hopefully it provides opportunity for some people like that, and I know that it has. So. For sure. But, well, so you guys really didn't have to shut down at all, so you weren't kind of forced to shut down. But um, have you, do you, you have people that write for you and people that submit content. Have you seen yep. an impact that this has had on any of your employees or your writers, or has this kind of just been another day at the office for them? It has been mostly another day at the office. Uh, they're all contract employees. Um, I have been republishing some other articles that are really pertinent during uh -huh. these times, yeah. and so I haven't had them submit as many articles, but um, they've turned to more soap making, more gardening, just kind of honing their skills. Uh, but, yeah, really – there, there hasn't been much of a change for them. That's good. So, That's mm -hmm. good. Now, we've had a variety of guests, and we've had some people that have seen this have uh, a boost in their yeah. business, like what you're experiencing, yeah. and we've seen some that have seen a tremendous hit to their business yeah. uh, and so that's why we like doing this to see the kind of variety of impacts that this thing has had mm -hmm. i don't think we're any of us are really going to know <laughs> the real impact that this has had for a while maybe we never will yeah but um let me ask you this about your family you have a son and a wife uh, you guys live kind of out in the country yeah um how has this impacted your family time and and, and your family in general um my wife's family has uh, decided to completely follow the quarantine rules and so we haven't had any contact with them other than some zoom calls you know video FaceTime, calls yeah. facetime calls things like that uh we still have not um she is actually going to drive over there today to her mom's with titus to do a socially distanced um interaction with them so huh. they just got back from florida and they want to quarantine for two weeks so yeah. and i think they're on like day seven or something yeah. but my family um, has not been that way. We have all um, continued to and actually expanded our visiting with each other. I mean, we've, yeah. we've gotten together 
many times each week. I yeah. go to my dad's, my dad comes to our place, we go to my sister, she comes to our place, my brother too, we're all kind of, um, so that's yeah. been really good actually for the family, yeah. we've gotten a lot closer. I think that's the interesting thing about this is, you know, people's comfort levels of how they deal with this mm-hmm. are different and varying. And of course, the thing that's, that's uh, bothering me, I guess, the most about that is, um, when you go on social media, which I try to avoid, we manage a lot of social media here, so we're on it enough to see, but a lot of people are just judging each other about how they interact with this virus, with this information. I don't think any of us really know the full answer, like how we're supposed to react to it. I know a lot of us feel like I'm an adult, I know what the risk is, and if I wanna go out, that's my right, but then you have the other people that say, if you feel that way, that you're endangering other people's lives. Mm-hmm. And then you have the person that says, well, if you're worried about endangering your life, then you can stay home and you right. won't be affected. So mm-hmm. there's all these schools of thoughts and, and, and none of them are right or wrong. Who's, who's to say, I guess. The, the, I guess the bottom line is it's our choice. But what I would like to see is that people don't get so animous towards each other. I mean, yeah. there's just so much fighting about it. And I think we all need to understand that everybody's dealing with this in a different way. It's affecting us all differently. It's affecting our children differently and our families. And we just need to kind of let people do what they think is best and be safe. That's kind of my thoughts on it. So um, one of the questions we normally ask is, what are your plans for reopening? But you guys have stayed open throughout this. Mm-hmm. And um, do you have any – what are some maybe creative things you did? I know you said you've kind of recirculated some of your articles. What are some other creative things you've done to be a help to people during this time? Um, I would say – well, I've noticed – a steep incline on people having personal problems and also deaths in the family. Yeah. Uh, just yesterday, I spoke with my best friend from high school whose dad uh, received a terminal uh, diagnosis of cancer, has a month to live. Mm. So I was just doing a lot of talking with him, encouraging him. Um, and then I have another friend who um, Betsy and I met in Florida, and they she is 70 uh, 70 some mm-hmm. and she just had a daughter die during this time um, and then I've I know of other people who have had family members die yeah. who haven't been able to have funeral services or even see them on their deathbeds and right. and uh, that's that's terrible so I've, I've, I've been doing a lot of encouraging for people um, using the time freedom that I have you know to to do that and I'm not good at that yeah I'm not a compassionate fellow <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not I and disagree so, and so uh, I've, I've been doing those things. It's been challenging for me, but I figure if I have the time and the capacity and they uh, need to talk, then, be you know. Be able to be an ear for someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As far as business, um, yeah, recirculating some articles, uh, doing that kind of thing, encouraging the, uh, looking at the trends and, and what kind of information people are searching for. Yeah. More gardening things. A lot of people are thinking, "Hey, I got to get some rabbits. Yeah. I got to get some chickens. Yeah. I, I've got to, I've got to learn how to garden. Right. What plants are good to grow?" And so I've encouraged my staff writers to write to those um, channel, you know, topics. to write to those topics and ideas. Yeah. Um, and and then as, on the real estate side, I'm just, I, I think that we're going to experience economic downturn. Yeah. Um, and as a real estate investor, that's a good thing because um, hopefully I'll be able to purchase more properties at, at better prices and things like that. So yeah. I'm waiting to see on that end. Um, I had a cash deal that I was trying to do over here in Owasso, and uh, they ended up taking another bid. But yeah. um, I'd say, you know, that's about it as yeah. far as business goes. Yeah. Well, what would be some advice that you would give to other people in your industry? I know I don't know if you follow Gary Vee, but he said that e-commerce right now in the month of April was up like 600 percent like just that makes sense people Everybody's are home, at home shopping right mm-hmm. <laughs> so what would you give what advice would you give to your compatriots to to do during this time you know and what would be some good practices i i mean it's for me it's always a good idea to everybody's heard of diversifying their investments mm-hmm. to me it's a good idea to diversify your businesses and um just think about what what's going to happen as an entrepreneur you need to you need to see into the future and see opportunities and things like that right was your business deemed essential or unessential if it's unessential think of ways to make it essential right or start a new business also um like dealing with this last real estate venture that i was trying to do i wasn't able to see the house because real estate agents were not essential right and not um, till tomorrow right not till tomorrow i'm sure Corey's happy about that yes she is 
Um, of course, when I say tomorrow, this isn't airing today. So we were talking about Wednesday, May, May 6th. 6th. So right. tomorrow is Thursday, 7th. May 7th, but I don't know what day we're airing this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so just know that it was tomorrow when we were talking about it. And um, But uh, also in those times, just to think about entrepreneurs solve problems. Yeah. And so there's going to be different limitations. There's going to be th- different things that you run into, but you need to figure it out and weave your way through you know, and yeah. deal with those problems and figure out the solutions in this, um, right. during this, these times. Yeah. And I would second that and say business is not about your products or your services. It's about meeting the needs of your customers, right. solving a problem mm-hmm. that people have an issue with. And I've seen a lot of people get really creative during this time and pivot some of their strategies and have really done okay. And have even in some cases like you experienced growth in their business. Yeah. And then we've seen some people that just weren't sure what to do and kind of have felt, found themselves in a position where they're not sure how this is going to impact them. So Matt, thank you for being on the show today. We appreciate your time. Uh, we Thanks know you're me. so crazy busy right now with all this shutdown that's going on, but we appreciate you being here. And as my mother always says, you can't and never could until you try. So go out there and try something great, my friends, and don't take the easy way out. We'll see you next time. Give it-